All right, guys, back with the week two, game 16, to close out week two. A couple more weeks, we'll be able to take a look at some stats and see how everybody's looking. But let's go ahead and get into this Rockers game. Actually, let's give it another 30 seconds or so in case anybody wants to come in. Go ahead and get it queued up, though. The Hartford Rockers at the Kentucky Grizzlies for this showdown on Monday night. All right, we're past the minute mark here, so let's go ahead and get this game started. like we for some reason when I set the when I set the menu to be full screen then when I go to the game part it uh, is messed up again so I have to re-skew it it's odd I don't know why it keeps changing back and forth let's see how it plays out tonight as we get set for the opening kickoff I may need to see about doing two different scenes, although I don't know if it'll let me because it's the same window, technically. It's how it's treating it, so I don't know. Might have to play with that a little bit, but I digress. The Rockers will have the ball first. Little scene. Number 19 has a nice return. Decent. Taking it back to the 30. First and 10. drive at the 30-yard line. First and 10. Here we go. Let's go. The home team come out in a 4-3. Terrell Davis in the backfield. Hand it off to the back. And then he'll start with a carry. Comes up to make the play at the 38. When your offensive line is getting a good push up front, Tim Fox it's a lot on the tackle. easier to pick up yardage on the ground. Ball on their own 38. Ball on the 38-yard line. Hey, let's go. All right, now. Get it up. Let's go. Davis right. lines up behind his fullback in the eye. Steps up into the pocket. Throws it. Got a man. He hits his receiver. Able to come down with it. Give him some time, he'll hit his man. And the thing is, he doesn't care how big that window is. With his accuracy, everyone's It's all worth with the catch. First and ten. It's like John Heidel is your starter. I thought Ken Stabler would be the starter. And then we got Chad Pennington also. The Rockers. This is a spot where you want to show the defense. Terrell Davis there. And then uh, we got Jamal Lewis, David Johnson, and Natron Means also on the running backs for this team. Ball on the Lance Allworth, uh, Irving Fryer, Rob Moore, Reggie Rucker, and Gene Washington. The wide receivers. Corey Schlesinger on the carry. And then your tight ends, you got Frank Wycheck, uh, Jordan Cameron, and Joseph Faria. Pretty good little roster for the Rockers here. Takes off. Number one dives ahead. Second and short upcoming after that great run. Well, the thing is, you have to put speed out there when you've got a quarterback who will take off on you. Speed on defense helps cut down the running lane keeping him contained in the backfield. Then if he does run, you have enough speed to catch him. Davis, the lone back, number 19, goes in motion. Hand it off. Draw play. Enough for a first down. The visiting team are handling the defense Sean Ellis with the tackle. They haven't even had a third down in this drive. So they have 12 yards to go for a touchdown. Rockers trying to start with a methodical drive. Johnson in the game. Fox comes up 
to make the play. David Johnson had to change his number because Jamal Lewis is on this team and he has 31 also. They need five yards for a touchdown. Only one man in the backfield. Great play in the backfield. Oh, not even enough time to get to the running back before he's hit. As they knew the quarterback was going to run with it, and they shut him down. Lawrence Timmons on the tackle. Gets rid of it. And Lance Allworth with a touchdown. This is a good play by the offense in the red zone. The wide receiver is going to break away right here and come up with a catch and a touchdown. Lance playing well already so far today. That's a little more like what our baseball team is supposed to look like color scheme wise. But the seems the like the numbers don't translate good. quite right for the color. Move the ball down the field a little, the touchdown. little lighter blue on their baseball on side. And executed it to perfection. I don't think the baseball game gives you the ability to put numbers in though, if I remember right. I haven't been in it in a while. I Really got to get the playoffs started and over with. Nice system. I can start the new season of me playing the actual, actually playing the games. From the five. They don't want to fall out of contention early. They'll be looking to put together some kind of scoring drive on this possession. Tyrone Braxton, I believe, on the on the return there. All right, we got Aikman starting, Earl Morrell and uh, Mitt Plum as the quarterbacks for this team. Holy smokes! Larry Fitzgerald on the opening play with a touchdown. Peyton Hillis with the block. Got Barry Sanders, Ricky uh, Waters. Lenny Moore and Freeman McNeil as the running backs for the Grizzlies. Larry Fitzgerald, Keyshawn Johnson, Curtis Conway, Chris Chambers, and James Jones as the receivers. Keith Jackson, Dennis Pitta, and Marv Cook as the tight ends. The extra point attempt is good. So pretty big names on the Grizzlies offensive roster. But the Rockers have pretty much the same situation for themselves as well pretty big names also certainly could be two of the playoff teams we're looking at here although I do believe they're in the same division if I remember right pretty sure if I saw the, the opening screen correctly the one of them replaced Washington and one of them replaced Philly which would put them in the, in the uh, NFC East. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. All right, Rockers get the ball back, 7-7. Seven, seven. See if they can march it down the field again like they did last drive. Number 57 is there on the stop at the 23. As a coach, you need to make sure that you establish your running game as a weapon that can hurt the other team. Wouldn't let me make 77 a linebacker for some reason in this game, so I had to change Mecklenburg to 57. Bring it up, bring it up. Davis, the lone back. Unfortunately. Pressure throwing. Had a couple of limitations. Oh no! Picked the off on the tip. Right to the the deflection. Yeah, he he had his man. Braxton on the play again. Braxton having a having a day. And it was over. <coughs> After the defense gets the takeaway, they're now set to go. At the and we'll see if a Aikman and company can take advantage of the turnover. Sanders in the backfield. Barry Sanders on the carry. Battles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pickup. 
Not a whole lot there. Looks like the Rockers got some defensive names as well with Ray Lewis in the middle there. The visiting team with a four man front gets rid of it. Fakes the handoff, knocked away. He's got great recovery. Donnie Abram on the coverage. Even if he's caught out of position. That time he was right there in the secondary to tip the ball away. Third and seven. Ball on the 29 yard line. Here I go. Back it up, baby. Number eight using split backs. Hand it off to the fullback. Draw play to Peyton Hillis. Not much doing there. Try to take the three. Here we go. This Phil Dawson in to kick the field goal. Right down Broadway. The key to winning is having your drives get some sort of points for your team. They got it done on that drive. And I'm sure they'll think a touchdown for their next one. A little disappointed in that, I'm sure, being that they had a short field. Roby is back and ready to put this one in the air. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one is fielded. A couple yards right. deep in the end zone, and Allworth will down it. And that'll bring it out to the 20. Really thinking about getting access football 20 to see how this would look in it to move things over. Not quite sure what the translation work would be. You got to keep going to the run. You never know when there's going to be great blocking ahead of you, allowing for a big one right And I don't uh, don't think they have the cameras set up similar to this where it shows off the helmets once in a while. Which I do like about this game since I'm doing all custom stuff. Did they call that complete? Because it did not look like he got any feet in. Frank Wycheck on the catch, but they might review that. I don't think his feet were in. Yeah, they might get this call reversed. It appeared he did a great job of keeping his balance along the sideline. Yeah, and the only question is. Yeah, he was not in. That's what I think they're looking for in the booth. Unfortunately, they're going to take that catch away from Mr. Wycheck. It was an incomplete pass. The player was out of bounds. So he takes advantage of the option to challenge the play, and it pays off. You bet. They just went from a bad play to a good one, and that does a lot for your team. Now let's see if they can take advantage. Oh, sorry for the yawns. I'm still trying to wake up this morning. Jeez. Receives the handoff. Play action. Fakes it to him, goes deep. Pass ball's incomplete. Oh. Throws, missing long. The intended receiver on the play. Thought they had that one completed. It's going to bring in Mark Royals to punt. Nothing happening for the offense there. Forced into a three and out. Fair catch. Decent punt. Really surprised out of that whole roster that Braxton has the return Ball on their duties. Bateman to pass. He completes it to Fitzgerald, but not for much. And that's what the mark of a solid defense is. They close in on you in a hurry, and they don't miss tackles. Well, I mean, they did give him about a five-yard gain there, so it's not terrible. Didn't really look like it was that much, to be honest. And off to Barry. Get a couple. Mixon runs with passes, keeps the defense on it. Just about a three-yard gain. Should be third and two then. Third and, third and one, they're calling it. Plenty of room for the first down there. 
the 40. So he gets about five yards and the first. Nothing fancy either. He just goes right at the defense to move those chains. Ball on their own 40. Ball on the 40-yard line. Yes, Sanders, the lone setback. Hey, watch the screen. Let's go. Let me go. Causes it left. Hart is there on the stop at the 41. They might not be busting off big games. But those linemen are really working hard down Ryan there. Clark on this cat on the tackle. Ball on their own 41. Ball on the 41 yard line. Under chain, chain. Let's go, D, let's go. Hand it off. Nice play fake. Throws it. He can't bring oh, it down. Oh, Peyton Hill is out of bounds. I think the quarterback just let that one get away. Number 22. Was his intended target. Did have him open. Didn't quite get it there quick Ball enough. On the 41 yard line. It's all about teamwork. Keep your eyes up. The defense lines up in the next See, so yeah, I'd like to see an update to Super Mega Baseball 3 for the color picker. So where you could put in the either the, it's the pass off. It's numbers the, ooh, the numbers of the color or the um I can't remember what it is, the hashtag number. I can't remember what it's called. The, uh, the, the hex number. That's what I was trying to think of. But last time I was in it, it did not have that option. But I would like to see that added. I'll tell you, if you want to run outside the tackles, you have to seal off the inside and kick out the outside to have some kind of hole to run through. That just Second didn't happen in that play. Ball on their Ball own 32. On the yard line. Not today. Oh, 28. Need a hammer. I can get him. Break it up, baby. <laughs> from the start, from the start. Pressure coming. Steps up. The defense works best when it gets pressure on the quarterback from their down linemen. When they do that, then they're more able to free up the linebackers and make plays like that. It's third now third and, and long after the sack. Ball on the 28 yard line. Everything you Offenses got. are, uh, other the than turnovers, team. have struggled a little bit. Pressure throwing. Oh. Number 30 is there on the stop. Hit Davis on the wheel route. Yard line. Watch it here. This is a great call on third down to keep this drive alive. They were in a tough spot here. But this is a heck of a throw and catch to pick up that first down. <laughs> Into the quarter. And we're ready to start the second quarter. First and ten. Ball on the forty-five yard line. Anyway, uh, when you translate the colors to the baseball game, it's very difficult because you're basically just using the sliders to try to get the color right instead of being able to use the numbers to repeat it or the hex decimal system whatever that thing's called hex number the visiting team line up in the bunch formation under pressure, dragged down from behind. That's just what this defense wants. They do a good job of setting the pace and making the offense adjust to what they're doing out there. It's now third and long after the set. Ball on the 49 yard line. Watch this! We're talking about Rick! The home team come out in a dime package. Throws on the run. And he hits his target. Good solid tackle by the corner, and they'll be stopped well short of the marker on third down. Marker rolls into punt. Royals 
would like to place this one inside the 10. That's too much. And he chooses not to return this one. <laughs> that was interesting. Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Here we go, baby. Get it up. Let's turn it up, DC. Number 15 with a man in motion. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Pushed it away. Is there for the tackle on the run. At the 21 yard line. not getting too yeah, much going get yet. But it's all about making the defense respect the fact that you're willing to run. One yard gain on that play. Second and nine. Ball on the 21 yard line. Keep the throttle down. Sanders, the deep back, fakes the handoff. Fires this one deep. Did I miss Saikman getting shaken up there? It looks like Earl. Morale is in the uh, or moral morals in the game. So I might have missed Eggman getting shook up. The visioning team come out in a dime package. Rose it. Ooh, that was almost picked off. I think he was invisible out there. Wasn't even seen. And that's a break for the offense. So they line up to punt after going three and out. Reggie Roby in the punt. He signals for a fair catch. Fair catch made at the 26-yard line. Number eight. Returns from being injured. Go low. Go low. All right, here we go. The home team line up in a 4-3. Only the counter play. Number 29 comes Davis up to make the play the at the 34 yard, yard line. A solid play. running game starts with a blocking of the offensive line. But the ball carrier must have good vision so he can take advantage of the holes that they open up. Ball on their ball own 34. On the 34 yard line. Here we come. Go make a play. The home team come out in a nickel pack. Oh, blitz. They have a bunch of guys in this defense that can really get after their quarterback. With their speed and quickness, they can get around the blockers and put a lot of pressure on the signal caller. It's third down. Mecklenburg with the sack. The home team come out in a dime package. Play action. Going long. Incomplete pass. Oh, going to call him for pass interference. On the defense. Number 33, first so the penalty on third down does go against Charles the Tillman on the coverage. The first down. Gets flagged for the pass interference. First and Rockers only down a field goal. Here we go, baby. Five minutes left in the quarter to halftime. Number one with a man in motion. Dropping back to pass on first down. With the throw. <coughs> Ball's incomplete. Tillman gets Tillman to him just as the ball arrives and he knocks it loose. He played that way. Irving well. Fryer like he knew exactly can't haul it in. Route was going. Second and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. Keep moving. Not today. Only yeah, one man in the backfield. Number Up 19 three. in motion. Blue Jam, Blue Jam. I'm coming through, baby. Uh, Let's go. Be good. Steps up into the pocket. Throwing. Incomplete as the Incomplete defender pass. knocks it away. Tillman Two in a row Tillman. just dropped. Third and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. Nothing deep. Nickelback in this time. Drops back. Gets the pass off. And it's complete. This is a good play Ooh. for third and long. When you get that Got kind of execution from your offense. In Washington on the like catch. That, you're doing something right. Watch the face. All right, let's go. A little misdirection. And he gets in Touchdown. there. Touchdown. 
Davis gets free for a touchdown. That is going to give the Rockers the lead. Vanderjack comes in to attempt the point after. The, the extra point, point attempt, attempt is, is good. good. No matter what kind of field position you start with, as an offensive player, you got to be thinking touchdown. These guys kept their eye in the end zone, and that's exactly the kind of drive they were looking for. Big defensive pass interference call on Charles Tillman to give them uh, the yardage they need to keep that drive alive. <coughs> and we'll see if nice the Grizzlies can answer here. From the five yard line. Can't get it from behind. Number 34 accelerates and takes it down to the 30. First and 10. Ball on the 30 yard line. Let's go, boys! Number eight with a man in motion. I got him, you got him. I can do it, baby. No more, fellas. Give it to the halfback. Well, Sanders gets a hole, but it closes quickly. You never know when you're going to find some room and break loose into the secondary. Thought maybe he was going to break that one. Yeah, I think it's just a matter of time before he gets loose. The visiting team line up in a 4 3. Blitz. Oh, Fitzgerald got a hand on it and couldn't, couldn't bring it in. He ran a good route and the quarterback made the right read. He just didn't bring it in. Aikman back in the game. Quite sure if that was a tired thing or got dinged up or what. Weird. Sanders with another carry. It's enough for a first down. Looks like Jason Taylor discussing things with the officials there. Thought maybe he was getting held, it looks like. Number eight, using split back. Jackson in motion. Pass play here on first down. Gets rid of it. Low throw, but he has it. Well, Sanders able to bring in the pass. At the 41. The defense drops everybody back, but he was able to find some space and make the catch for the first down. That was a good read off the line by the receiver. He recognized his own coverage, made a slight adjustment to his route. The quarterback knew where he would be, made a good throw, and they convert it for a first down. I think he waters in the game. Good coverage downfield. Not enough time for Aikman to scan the field. Back in zone coverage, never giving the quarterback an option. Now in second and long after the sack. On the 47 yard line. Let's ride, man. You can't stop me. Gets the pass off. Off target. It's Gerald able to bring it in. Gets back some of the yardage there. At the 39. It's Gerald. Didn't have much room to do anything with that one. Yeah, they had the coverage and they made the sure play instead of trying something fancy. Like going for the pick. Third down here. They have to get it to the 31 yard line. Third and eight, looks like. They'll go with the quarter defense. Stepping up. No, too much pressure. Great job getting in there to drag the quarterback down, and he picks up the sack. And he'll make two or three plays like that in just about every game. Not enough time to get that playoff. Or pass off, I should say. They got the playoff, Roby didn't they? We'll try to have this one stop inside the 10. Reggie Roby to punt. Fair catch called for. Again, anybody curious, I did the numbers, the heights, weights, and attributes. I did not touch the player models. So it, it took me probably th right around three months to get all that done. So if I would have been doing the player models as well, it probably would have been closer to a year to get all of it done. So I did not mess with that part. 
24. He's there on the stop at the 22. The defense the held their positions and didn't let him get very far. Just about a three-yard gain. Two-minute warning game. coming up. Ball on the 22-yard line. Watch the snap now. Let's go. So any actual likeness to real players is coincidental. And we've reached the two-minute mark here in the first half. They'll go from the shotgun. I basically just wanted the abilities to try to uh, see who would come out on top in an NFL season using all of the all of the legends to have played and are currently playing. And I took all the ratings from other Madden games, and if I couldn't find them there, I tried Ultimate. Ultimate team ratings, and if I couldn't find them either of those two places, then I tried to randomize it based on their position that they play, what other, everybody else's stats had. The home team come out in a dime package to try and keep it somewhat realistic of a number. Is there for the tackle at the 11 yard line. You know, unless you had that certain freak in there, like a really mobile quarterback, so then running might be higher than it really should be if you had to randomize something. Oh, he doesn't even have time to hand it off. Holy. 95 in there in a the blink of an eye. Dan Wilkerson, Wilkinson. Second and fourteen. Ball on the sixteen yard line. Close to half time. Rockers in position put up more points. Big hit there. Big hit there. That was Dave Butts on the play. Oh, somehow he got the ball to him and he couldn't bring it in. That was Joseph Faria. The drop. And that's going to bring out Vanderjack. Vanderjack in to attempt the field goal. That's good. The kick is good. So able to add on three more right before halftime. on the hit. First and ten. Ball on the twenty five yard line. Play hard and fast, baby. Turn it up now. All day, baby. Come on. Aikman and company down a touchdown. See if they can get anything going on this drive. Close to a first down. Only forty three seconds left until half time though. Uh oh, what just happened? Why did my game shrink? Ball on the that was odd. Stay at home. Hey, let's go one, two, Apologies there, I don't know what happened. I am not touching anything. So I'm not quite sure why the game minimized there. Fitzgerald comes up with it. 
Now in field goal range. Oh, he had it. Keyshawn Johnson with the drop. Throw him the damn ball so he can not catch it. Let's go, Keyshawn. Yeah, pick it up, dude. Fitzgerald able to bring that in for a first down. Down to 20 seconds here. They go hurry up. Another completion to Keyshawn Johnson. Inbounds. Clock continues to run. Get one more off. Oh, he had him. He had a step. That could have been a touchdown. Just a little too far ahead of Barry Sanders there on the throw. He did have a step on his defender, though. That'll bring in Phil Dawson for the field goal. almost think he could have ran a quick slant there to unless it was fourth down could have ran a quick slant there I think to try to get that touchdown but they'll take the three points we'll head into halftime 17-13 in all likelihood barring a return for a touchdown bit of a shootout here points wise they'll take over at the 22 yard line first and 10 go one 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 let's go dude go make a play watch the man get some slack going here we go baby rock and roll Davis on the run to get us to halftime. At the end of the first half, the score is the away team. 17, the home team. 13. Grizzlies get the ball to start the second half. Blitz gets there. Makes the sack. Five yard loss on the play. I mean, in all honesty, Aikman. I mean, he's never been fleet of foot, right? I mean, he didn't run much. Hey, watch the ball. Blitz. That I recall. But he was also kept pretty clean by his offensive line, so. Sanders can't quite get to first down. It's close though. Fans want him to go for it, but I doubt they're going to in their own territory here. Line. 
they'll start the drive at the 28-yard line. First and 10. Go, oh, one, one, one. Turn it up now. Draw to Terrell Davis. Davis, the ball carrier, five yard gain on the play. Second and five. Ball on the 33 yard line. Regular. Come on. Danny, Danny, Danny. Another draw. Davis with the carry. Gain of four on the play. Third and one. Ball on the 37 yard line. Do what we do right here. Come on, now let's finish this. 28. David Johnson in the backfield. Johnson on the run. No gain on the play. Stuffed. Sanders on the carry. On the carry. Got a little bit. Six, on the play. six decent. Decent game. Second and four. Ball on the 20 yard line. First left. Six. We're talking about Rhea. Oh, she got moved in. Hey, hey. I'm coming through, baby. Hey, watch that screen. Hey, hey. Run, run. Sanders. Ball carrier. Gain of 12 on the play. Pretty good run for Sanders there. First and 10. Ball on the 31 yard line. Let's go now. Go low. Go low. Blue Dan, Blue Dan. Go make a play. Now it's open. Keyshawn able to come down with that one. First and ten. Ball on the twenty-two yard line. Let's ride, man. Hey, hey, hey. Watch this. The pass falls incomplete. Johnson, the intended receiver on the play. On the play. Not quite enough outside to get that one in there. Third and ten. Ball on the 22-yard line. Let's make a play. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Let's go. We're coming around. Stay with those receivers. Ooh, couldn't quite get that one in there. Abraham on the cover. Tended for James Jones. Bill Dawson will come in for the field goal. Try to try to reduce the lead to one. And he does.
will start the drive at the 24-yard line. First and 10. Will, Will, Will. Check it out, Mike. Watch screen. Cut. 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 Draw play to Davis. Davis on the carry. Gain of six on the play. Second and four. Ball on the 31 yard line. Watch the man. Get some sweat going. Stay soft, man. Danny, Danny, Danny. I'm coming through, baby. Watch your eyes. The pass ball incomplete. The I just noticed I don't hear Al or uh, John. Third and four. Ball on the 31 yard line. Here we go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that. On the play, by the oh, they called it a fumble, and the Grizzlies came up with it. So I wonder if something, whatever, shrunk my stream earlier, shrunk, shrunk the game, minimized the game. I wonder if that caused whatever that's, that is happening. Why we don't hear those two. Because this would be the Monday night game, so you definitely would have commentators, right? And I never, I don't even, unless you change the setting, I didn't even know that was a thing to not have the two announcers. And I certainly didn't change that setting. Oh, nice pass. Aikman hits Keith Jackson over the middle for the touchdown. see what happens with this two-point conversion and then I'll check the audio settings to see if something shows up there when Aikman runs it in quarterback draw all right let me check the uh, Commentary's on. Commentary volume's all the way up. Something happened. Is it definitely in there? Or wasn't? Strange. And it took me a while to notice it, so I don't know if they were there before. Oh, there he is. Not quite sure why it went away, but it seems to be back now. Also not quite sure why you get the TV camera angle on something coming out of the pause there, but the rest of them are behind the line of scrimmage. Not quite sure how that works. I did mean to play with that a little bit too to try to figure out if I could get get the whole game to, to be a broadcast, TV broadcast angle. The defense didn't have time to react. And that's a gain of about eight. Second and two. But also didn't didn't really pay that much attention to it, so I wasn't that worried about it. Would be nice to have though. Good call there, John. The draw caught them off guard. And here's the thing: running draw plays softens up the defense and slows down the pass rush. When you can run the draw for good yardage, you really open things up for the passing game. It's first and ten. One back. Let's go, Beefus. The home team with a four-man front. With the throw, the wide receiver has it. Number 34 Ball comes up to make the play the result of at the, play the 39, first down. and it's good for a first down. Rob Moore able to bring that one in. 
Ball on the 39-yard line. Ball on the 39-yard line. Go low. Go low. Rosenberg's going to make a play. Davis, the lone setback. Keep moving. Huh? We like a practice. Huh? Pass play here on first down. Rosen. He hits his receiver. Number 57. Oh, is there for the tackle. Game Good read on that play. He saw them play. drop back in zone and took advantage. That's the kind of efficiency that the coach is looking for out of him. Take what the defense gives. Don't force it. Protect the football. Those kinds of things. Second and six coming up here. The home team line up in a 4-3. Hands off to the tailback. Drop when he gets in the first down. At the 25. The running back finds his way into the open field and picks up the first down. And what happened was they missed him with the blitz. And when they did that, there were no linebackers to converge. And that's how he got by the first down mark. Let's go, boys. From the start, from the start. The visiting team line up in trips bunch. Will, Will, Will. Give it to the halfback. Number 57 is there for the tackle at the 21-yard line. The best backs in the league average four to five yards a carry. But there are a lot of things that go into a successful running game. you got to have good play calling, good blocking up front, and a back that can take advantage when he sees the open. Five-yard game. David Johnson in the game. So they're inside the 20. Need to get a touchdown. They give it to him. Oh, and he gets a good block. He's gone. Touchdown. Defense must have been thinking pass on that play. Yeah, and everything was working there. The offensive line picked up some blocks. The wide receivers picked up some blocks. And then they get in for the score. Extra point will tie it up. Vanderjack will attempt the extra point that would tie this game up. The point after is good. Scoring a touchdown not only puts points on the board, it sends a message to the other team that if you execute properly, they won't be able to stop you. They say 90% of the game is half metal. This one is handled by number 34. Decent return. Ball as well through the air this time as they did after scoring a touchdown on their last possession. First so they have ten. first and ten here. Ball on the 30-yard line. The ten. visiting team come out in a 4-3. Setting up play action. Gets the pass off. Completes to the wide receiver. Abraham is there for the tackle. Fitzgerald keeps racking up yards. That catch moves him over the 150 mark. Ball on the 49 yard line. Ball on the 49 yard line. Too deep. He'll pass on first down. Pressure coming. This team is extremely active on defense, whether it's flowing from sideline to sideline or when they're rushing the passer. Maybe they should keep a couple extra guys in the block just to slow this pass rush down. Second and 15. Ball on the 46-yard line. At the end of the first quarter. Tied headed into the fourth quarter. Fourth quarter. Ball on their own 46. Ball on the 46-yard line. Could we end week two with the two overtime games? On four, three. Number eight sends a man in motion. Stepping up, gets the pass off with the adjustment. Fitzgerald with the catch, snags it out of the air. Not only did the quarterback show off his strong arm, but the receiver displayed some amazingly soft hands. A great throw with an even better catch is always an easy way to pick up first down. Get my cut back. How we go, baby? Rock and roll. They're blitzing with the pass. Pass ball's incomplete. Keep Jackson. Got a couple tight ends to fall back on with Dennis Pitta and Marv Cook. Pitta's in the game now. Stop. 
back to 35. Sanders takes it up the middle for a yard or two. Yep, Sanders not able to get too much on that one. Third down, they need to get it to the 26 to convert. Rid of it. Been able to get it away. Receiver had a step. At the 20 yard line. He picks up more yardage with that completion and now has almost thrown for 300 yards. First and 10. James Jones on the catch. Ricky Waters in the backfield. Come out of the nickel tackle. Pass here on first down. Throws it. Guns it to Fitzgerald for the first down. Great hands. He's very close to the top, John. I'll tell you what. He does a great job of using his hands and not letting the ball get into his body. He's worked very hard to improve his pass catching. And I think he's become one of the best out there. The visiting team line up in a 4-3. Looking to run it here. Ricky Waters on the carry, but not much there. Battles his way forward for what appears to be a two-yard pickup. Dwayne Rudd on the tackle. Seven yards to go for the touchdown. Ball on the seven-yard line. Hey, watch the ball. Yes, the home team line up in triple bunch. Came up to the tailback. Ricky Waters up the middle. Got a few yards. Rudd with the tackle again. Second and goal. No dice. Two. Let's go now. They'll go from the I formation. Tucks it away. Hands it up the middle of the waters again, and he gets in. See what happened here. This is a bruising run. He gets it, and boom, he pounds his way in for the score. Able to run over Keith Bostic to get in. is just about ready to kick this one away. Sends it sailing. This one is handled by number 19. Well, it's crunch oh, worth downs it for a touchback. Be their last chance, so they have to stay focused, be efficient, and get the ball into the end zone. First and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Not today. Check it. The home team come out in a 4-3. Steps up. Pressure with the pass right on target to the wide receiver. Moore picks up about four yards on that reception. Ball on their own 24. Ball on the 24-yard line. Get some slack going! I know. They ain't got nothing! Gets rid of it. Complete to the wide receiver, number 30, is there on the stop at the 29. Number one, completes the pass for a five-yard Rob Moore catches the ball. Down. It's a little short of the first down, it looks like. Did they give him a spot? Ball on their own 29. On nope, third down. Defense, get ready. No more, fellas. Davis, the lone back. Draw play, he doesn't get there. Mecklenburg with the tackle. Trying to pick up the first down on the ground. But they're short. I have to question that call. They're losing the game, and they aren't in field goal range. But they still run the ball. Unable to get anything going on that series, they'll have to punt it away here. From the 22-yard line, 
47-yard punt returned for a gain of two yards. Not much on the return there. They'll take over at the 25-yard line. First and ten. Well, we're not gonna make a play. Under ten, ten. We like a the visiting team with a four-man front going to the air on first down. Going, going deep long. to Fitzgerald. Incomplete. Oh, I couldn't bring it in. It away. He can catch just he about anything that the quarterback the throws in his direction. But he couldn't find a way to quiet that one down and bring it in for a catch. Second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Hey, watch the ball. We got him Sanders in the backfield. Tucks it away. Fakes the handoff with the pass. And it's oh, no. Picked off. Number 47 takes it back. Keith Bostic gets a hold of it. Same guy that was victimized on the goal line last series. Comes up with the pick. After the interception, they'll Ball set up the shot at the 46. Watch the hard count. Right, here we go. Here we the go. home here team here come out in the quarter defense. Going to the air on first down. Ellis Ooh, is Halo here gets rocked. At the 48-yard line. Pretty good coverage downfield, so he decided to pack it in. Picks up a handful in the process. And that's just the kind of thing he'll do. He's very good at creating opportunities with his legs. It's second down and four to go. What's wrong with my brain? They line up in the eye for me. Gives the ball off. Joiner drags the ball carrier down behind the line. Nothing doing in the middle, and they stop him for a loss. The defense is well that run play. Everyone knows what their assignment is. That time they worked as a team, and they made it look easy. Third and five. Coming up. on the 49-yard line. So third and five, down a touchdown. Play fake. Got a guy open. He hits him. That's going to be a first down. This is a guy who comes to play, and he seems to make big catches when they really need him. This time they needed to convert on third down. Bring check on the catch. There for the reception and the first down. Number 19 comes in motion. Hands it off to the back. Number 94. Davis straight up the middle. Decent game. Davis got the call on the draw. Six yard pickup. Ball on the 31 yard line. Just under three minutes left. Rockers moving the ball, but they are down a touchdown. Number 34 is there More on the catch. At the 26 yard line. This is what they have to do. Keep making completions down the field and move the chain. Watch this one. He knows he's got to get the first, and he picks the right guy to puts, throw it to. That puts more over 100 yards receiving. 104 currently. On eight catches. Davis on the draw. What a performance. It showed on that play, and indeed, he's been showing us all game long as that tackle gives him a total of 10. Two minute warning coming up. Ball on the 23 yard line. Watch this. Dropping back. Going deep, looking for something in the end zone. It's open. He has it. Got it. He gets the touchdown on a play in which it didn't look like he could possibly stay inbound. That was more like a hop than a run. But you do whatever it takes to get in the end zone. Irving Fryer on the catch. Vanderjack will tie it up here in the fourth quarter by converting this extra point. And the it's point good. Tie game. Good. The game is tied, but still a lot of time left. The strategy of the NFL shows itself right here. Anyone who a little over two minutes to go. Jeez, cannot wake up today. Good distance. This one is handled by number 34. They have a Excuse reputation me. for pulling out wins right at the end of the game. They have another chance to do that kind of thing right here with this drive. 
almost at the two minute mark now. On the 29 yard line. Let's go now. We're free. We like the visiting team line up in a 4 3. Gives the ball off. Lewis is there on the stop at the 32. Sanders takes advantage of a little daylight, picks up three yards. Two minute warning coming up. Ball on the 32 yard line. Throw right. to go <clears throat> on the 32 yard line here we go baby only one man in the backfield hey, hey. let's go let's go throwing incomplete pass the Conway was incomplete. the one they were trying Conway, to get the ball to the intended receiver on the play third and seven Ball on the 32-yard line. Are we, are we? Number eight sends a man in motion. Dropping back. Under pressure. Gets the pass off. And the catch is made. It seems like all they have to do is just throw it near this guy. Good for a first down. Yeah, I was talking to the coach this week, and he told me that he's probably got the best hands in the team. And right there, he just showed us why. Catch by Peyton Hillis. At the 50. They'll head right back to the line. Throws it. Lake comes up to make the play. Nice call. Is that not 81 that made the catch on the play before Peyton Hillis caught the ball? I could have swore it was an 81. Ball a timeout. They have two remaining. Totally missed it. Ball on the 36 yard line. Ball on the 36 yard line. Defense, get ready. Well, it might be Marv Cook because he's 47 and it won't let me make 47 on tight end, so. Might have been who it was. I thought I updated all the numbers, though, as I. For any of them, I had to change, but his is still says 47. Ball on the 33 yard line. Get it started. Here we go. And Mecklenburg still says 77, so I'm not quite sure. I didn't update the spreadsheet for that. Getting close to field goal range here. They got knocked off the line and they never recovered. Take some more time off the clock if they can get a first down here. Keep the throttle down. Number eight using split backs. Number 87 moves in motion. Hands off to the tailback. Lewis is there. 87. Maybe that's who made that catch. Fails once again to get the first down and I thought it was 81. Yeah, and that's huge for the defense to keep. Just Dennis Pitta, if that was the case. Like They're a solid group of guys who make key stops. Big time kick here. This would put them for the lead. Uh, they're going to take the time down here before they snap it. That's definitely good. They'll take the lead here in the fourth with that field goal. He's one of those guys who really works hard. And that's going to leave the Rockers with about 30 seconds to try to tie it up, like at least. By the time they get the ball to their offense, that is. Unless, of course, they return it for a touchdown. Then that would give them the lead. I've seen it happen. It's not out of the realm of possibility. That's all I'm saying. Going with the squib kick. This one is fielded by number 19. Yeah. Not what they wanted on that yeah, Not the enough blocking there for that. He has to wait for his blocks to develop. That squib kick team, worked out for the for defense here. He <coughs> A lot of weapons for the Rockers, though. They could still do something here. The home team come out in a nickel package. 
dropping back to pass on first down. It's caught. Tillman is there on the, the wide check. at the 48 yard line. Go. And it looks like they're going go, to go, go with a no huddle. Hey, let's go, one D. Check it. Here we go, baby. Rock and roll. All right, let's go. Spike stops the clock. 20 seconds left. All they need is a field goal here. Don't have to have a touchdown per se. Ball at midfield. Ball on the 48 yard line. Turn it up now. Watch the man. Dying David back. Johnson Turn in the up, backfield. Hot, I'm right. hot, hot. With the throw. And Fryer drops it. Go to the air because they need big plays fast. That's right. You got to have composure in these situations. Find your receivers who can pick up yardage after the catch. But most importantly, you have to keep the chains moving. The home team come out with three down linemen and seven defensive backs. That's time. The wide check completed. Oh, he gets the touchdown. Holy. Wow. Watch it here as everyone takes care of their assignment. The pass is thrown where the receiver is having a great day. The ball, and it's six points. Well, he gets the game MVP after that, too. Is good. And the now I feel old does the Grizzlies the no good. To play. They would have to have a touchdown. Two catches for 86 yards for Wycheck on that drive. So you gotta figure he's well over 100. Vanderjack is back and ready to put this one in the air. Squib kick short. And out of bounds. That's going to give him hope. So no time comes off the clock, inbound. and they get it on the 40. Number 13. The First team out. with the most discipline is the team that doesn't commit stupid penalties. And they're the team that they got a time for probably two down. plays there. If they could the get it about halfway there, that'd give them a shot into the end zone anyway. The visiting hey, team come out in a dime package. The Rockers are going to play defense, or are they going to bring pressure? They only Plus rush four. Oh, and he had his hands on it. Unlucky. Now they gotta throw a hell mary to the end zone. The quarterback has to know who his outlet guy is and get the ball to him when he feels that pressure coming. On the 40-yard line. Go far, far, far. One of us gonna make a play. The visiting team come out in a nickel package. Drops back. Long throw. Oh, he had his hands on it again. That's the end of the game. The Rockers pull it out right at the end. And that's going to wrap up week two. Sorry it took me so long to get back to this series, but I had some things going on around here, so we were taking care of those. So let's go ahead and get that one saved and in the books. And again, the uh, screen is small. Not quite sure how. To combat that so that it stays for each mode. So like in the game, it'll be too big now and I'll have to do it again once the games start. Although that won't be this time. Week three on tap. What do we got as a game of the week here? They are saying it's going to be the Monday night game with the 2-0 Jacks at the 2-0 Lightning. I can't disagree with that. That is a big time matchup there. What else, if anything, do we have going on in week two or week three? Not much else. That's the only 2-0 two two versus 2-0. and o. 
set for week three. Kind of makes you wonder if week four will have a few 3-0 and versus 3-0 and or something. Or at least somewhere down the line we might see that. Depends on what all these 2-0 and teams do, I suppose. And then we'll finish off week three and then week four. And then after week four, we'll take a look at the standings and the stats, league leaders and all that stuff. Uh, Probably do that as its own episode, possibly. We'll see. But I think that's the way it's going to end up. A lot of interesting matchups, I will say. Got the gamblers and the slaughters interesting. The wolf pack and the dragons. Got a battle of two and oh and two teams there. Somebody's gonna get a win out of that. Um Dog Pound and the Aces. Battle of one and ones. Powerhouse and Armageddon both oh and two, shockingly. Nukes and convicts. Interesting game. Another battle of 0 and 2s there with the luck and the quake. Somebody going to get their first win? Well, unless, of course, they tie. I suppose that's possible. <coughs> and then the cannabis and the night stalkers. Got some interesting games on tap for week three. I hope you guys tune in and check it out. <coughs> We're going to end the stream there, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.